If you replace and fix cyclone underflow piping all the time, then keep watching as I'm about to explain how smart engineers have found some easy ways to fix it and get more wear life. This is the last of three videos where we're showing you a common mistake made with underflow piping and a simple way to avoid it in your plant. Cyclone underflow piping is typically gravity fed. Slow free falls at speed and then hits the same spot over and over. This quickly creates localised wear point on the bend arcs. A common upgrade we see is switching from rubber line steel to ceramic line steel. But this doesn't work and here's why. Steel is rigid and the ceramic tiles are hard so it has even less impact absorption than rubber line steel. When the slurry hits the bend, the tiles chip, erode and eventually peel off. It doesn't take long from there for the pipe to fail completely. So what can you do instead to get longer wear life from your underflow piping? Because the slurry is free falling, impact absorption is critical. Mining hose works really well for underflows as it has better impact absorption, much better than rigid pipe. It worked really well for this reliability team who made the change from rubber line steel to mining hose. The mining hose lasts six times longer than their rubber line steel. Lots of sites we work with have made these changes and extended their underflow pipe and wear life by three to six times. So if you're seeing the same issues, it might be time to consider doing this in your plant. 